Hello everyone and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 7288 Mobile Police Unit. It has 408 pieces for ages 5 to 12 and it's from the City Series and this set retails for $44.99. And here in the front cover we see the money shot of the set. Looks pretty good. And then this thing over here caught my attention. You'll notice that these two stickers aren't very even over there. And that could mean either one of two things. Either the guy who built it wasn't very good at it or it could be that the stickers are just simply a pain in the butt to put on. Either way, it looks like I'll be in for it too. And then here on the side are the minifigures, more on that later. And here on the back we see a lot of playable features. And you can probably use this as a pretty good reference as to how those stickers should be on there. Okay, so there we go. So I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Here are the minifigures, and first up is the police officer on the motorcycle, and here are his details. It's pretty nice, and he looks pretty cool too, although he doesn't look like the type with a sense of humor. And I'll bet he's trying to catch this guy, and try to wipe that smile off his face. I guess I'm going to start by taking away his gold bar, and that should make him pretty unhappy. And here's a close look at his details. Nothing on the back. And finally, we have the detective, and I like his uniform. Now you can tell who's in charge around here. And there we go, it's pretty neat. Let's take a look at the motorcycle. Here is the police motorcycle, and this thing is really cool looking. There it is from the side, and there's a top. It's actually just one big molding that clips onto this black frame over here. And there's the front, and we have a sticker right there, which is pretty annoying to put on, but these two parts over here are printed pieces, which is really nice. And there's the back, and now we can put the police officer in there by sliding his feet in there and clipping on his hands to the handles. And there we go, it's really cool looking. Now this is also available as a standalone set for about $4, which is an okay price. The only difference is, is that that one has a little bit more extra parts towards the rear over here. But still, I'm pretty happy that this set came with this police motorcycle. It's really nice. And now let's take a look at the sports car. When I first saw this car, I thought it was a little bit misleading because how can a robber have such a nice car? Unless of course he stole it, but anyway, here it is from the side. And there's the top. You'll notice that this thing is really small too. There's the front where we have a sticker for a license plate. And same thing for the back. Nothing to the bottom. And now we can put our robber right there in the middle to drive this thing. And there we go. And now we can put his gold bar right behind him. So this way he knows it's nice and safe with him. And there we go. Not too bad. And now let's take a look at the truck. Here is the truck and overall I really like the design. Here it is from the side and here we have a door that can open up which leads to an empty spot in the truck. Here's the top and that's the fifth wheel over there. That's where it attaches to the trailer. There's the bottom which is not much and there's the front where we have three stickers. Here, here and over here it says PN7288. I know that's the abbreviations of the designer but I can't help myself that could have been Public nuisance number 7288. Yep, that's how many there are. And there's the back, which is not much either. And this part can come off just by pulling it up. It's only attached by those 10 studs over there. And that's where you can put the detective to drive this thing. And there we go. Not too hard. And some other features here. You'll notice that we have some lights here, which can turn downward over here. We got the side mirrors, which is not as annoying as the other trucks because these are pretty good. Not really in the way of anything, so you don't have to adjust them all the time. And there we go. Now let's take a look at the trailer. And finally, here is the trailer. Now before I show you guys the interior, I want to show you what this thing looks like all around real close because I spent a lot of time and effort putting on these pain in the butt stickers. Starting with this one, this is a real pain too because while it's easy to line it up with the door's edge over here, you want to get this somewhat in a good spot, like a good distance between the handle there on both sides. And these two, man, if you get one of these wrong, then the whole thing looks screwed up because you want to get them really even and this way it looks really professional, okay? These stickers I don't mind because they fit the brick, but these two, man, those are just unforgivable. And then over here is the back, and that's where you can put the robber, of course, for misbehaving. And there's another sticker. Here's the bottom, and we can push this in so that we don't have to drag around the landing gear once we attach this to the truck. And then on this side, you'll notice that we have some hinges over here, but these two panels don't open up like the other side does because 
I think these two here are just for looks, just to make things look even. And there we go again. That's really even too. See? And there's another sticker. Another one. I was thinking about making a tutorial on how to put these stickers on there, but I was swearing so much in that video, you will either think I'm the roadrunner for beeping so much, or I just simply have a really bad habit. And here's this side. And there's the top. Alright. Now I'll take a look inside. To get in there, it's not hard. Just lift this up, and if you want, you can pull these two handles here if you'd like, or just open it like that. There's no wrong way to do it. And as you can see, inside looks like a really detailed command center. It's really nice. And as you can imagine, without the stickers, this thing is going to look pretty plain. And right here in the center are the two computers and two keyboards over there. Those are the only printed pieces in here. And this one's probably for checking Twitter, see if there's any updates on the robber. And that one's for playing where the beep is Carmen San Diego. On this side here is the TV. That's an easy sticker to put on. But those two right there, oh man, you're going to have fun with that one. Same thing with that one too. The best way to put them on there is just to rip these parts out and just put them on separately. Just have them lined up this way you know they're even. And if you notice, compared to the front of the box, mine's a little bit higher and that's because I want these to be like eye level for the minifigure. This way the monitors aren't really blocking part of the view. But it's really up to you. There's no wrong way to do it. And on the side here we have a flashlight, a handcuff, and a magnifying glass. And right there in the middle there's a coffee maker. So, not too bad. And this part can be lifted up. That's how you can get your internet feed. And this door can open up. Same thing with that side. And that's where you can throw in these road pieces. This is probably a pine cone. And that's a roadblock that doesn't really stand very well. And then we'll just push this in. And now we can connect this to the truck right over there. And there we go. Pretty nice, right? Too bad it doesn't transform. It would be nice. I would have like a white Optimus Prime. I guess that's up to me. Or I can, you know, make that later. But anyway, on to the recommendations. Overall, I say it's an okay set. It's not bad. But starting with the stickers, as you saw earlier, there's a lot of them. And compared to most other sets, it's actually about average when it comes to the amount of stickers. But seriously, a lot of them are real pain in the butt to put on. And honestly, if you don't get them on straight, it's just going to look weird. And... If you don't like stickers, then you might want to stay away from this set. But anyway, when you look at the value, it's not bad. It's like 11 cents a piece because this set is like 45 bucks for about 408 pieces. And when it comes to the play value, I think it's really nice. You do get the motorcycle and this little car, which is a nice touch. And this looks like you can do a fair amount of stuff. So really, it's not a bad set at all. And in the end, it really depends because I think the stickers will just make it or break it for you on this one. And that's it. That sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.